Hey guys, Kof here, and today we are going to cover two methods of locking players in place. The first one will be locking them while riding something. So this will essentially make it so I can't move because I am sitting down, and if I try to not sit down, I am hitting the button, trust me. Uh, I'm hitting shift, but I'm not dismounting. The other method we will cover, which is very similar, will use a marker to basically stick the player to a block. And so when I start walking too far away, I teleport back immediately. So the first one we're going to look at is using the new slash ride command because I thought it was kind of a fun thing to uh, do. So essentially what you need to do is summon a entity that the player can ride, such as a armor stand, and then you have to make the player ride the armor stand. And now you can see it's a little weird, but I can't move, right? Now the next step will be detecting when I hit shift and escape the armor stand and then putting me back on it. So you can see this will be a very efficient method for detecting or making sure a player gets stuck in place. But of course, visually, it might be a little bit undesirable because of how you see uh, the player sitting. Of course, we will also be putting the armor stand inside the ground so that they're on the same Y level uh, when they escape from the or unride them. Uh, so we'll do that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new MC function file called lock writing. Okay. And this will lock the player while writing. Okay. So what this is going to do is it's going to do summon armor stand right here and we'll change it to down a block. Then we'll give this thing no AI, uh, no gravity one B marker one B, uh, and invisible one B. And then we'll give it tags and we'll give it a tag of we will tag this with lock and we will also give this a tag of new okay so now we know when it's a new lock and we'll give it a capital t for tags all right so now we're just going to have to do uh, link this armor stand to the player in some way and there's a couple ways to actually do this uh, you know, I think, I'm not sure if the macro or scoreboard way is better, but we're going to go with the classical scoreboard way. So we're going to go scoreboard objectives, add lock ID dummy. So this will give us a scoreboard and then we'll just do scoreboard players operation, i.e. type equals armor stand, tag equals new lock ID equals add s lock ID. Okay. And then we're just going to have to go execute as at a unless score at s lock ID matches at least one. All right. Uh, actually not nah, this, this was unnecessary. We, what we'll do is we will add one to a global variable here. And then we will say he equals the global variable. And then we will say we equal the global variable. So either way, you just need to make sure that both the player and the lock have the same score. And then you just do tag at E remove new. So that makes sure that the next one you spawn is in here. Uh, and this does all this. Then additionally, we need to go up here and add an extra function. So execute if entity, no, if score at S lock ID matches at least one or greater than zero run function lock colon unlock writing so this will get rid of your previous one if you did happen to have one when you get here so we'll make a function called unlock writing and so what unlock writing will do is it'll find the one that you were locked to the armor stand you were locked to and kill it and then remove your score so scoreboard players reset at s lock id and then before that, we will go to all of these armor stands. So execute as i.e. type equals armor stand, type equals lock. And then if score at s, lock id equals, and then you have to test if it matches the players. So let's put the players on a fake player. So scoreboard players operation dot search lock id equals at s lock id. So this will basically load the player's lock id onto a fake player so that when we change who we are looking at, we can still find that one that we were originally at. And let me hit Alt Z. Uh, so if their score equals the thing you're searching for, then run kill at S. And that's really it. So kill the armor stand that has the matching score, the matching score to the player's score, remove the player's score, and then spawn a new one. Okay. 
Then inside tick, this is something that happens every tick. So execute as at a, and if their score scores equals lock ID equals something, so they have some lock ID, then you have to go predicate equals, and you have to have a new predicate. Uh, so this will be lock predicate equals lock colon, and then we'll have a name for the predicate, and we'll do this uh, is write not writing. Then we need to do run, and this is where we make the player ride. So if they have a lock ID score and they are not writing, which will be a predicate we'll make, then we need to ride. So ride uh, run function lock colon ride. All right, so inside ride MC function, we're just going to have to do the same thing as unlock writing, except we're just going to change this from kill at s to uh, we're going to add an at p here, add at p before we go here, so that we're at the player. Uh, no, add at s. There we go. So now inside the ride, we're going to search for the matching armor stand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do ride at p mount at s, just like that. Okay, so now we actually need the predicate. So let's make a predicate. So we go to miso.github.io, go to his predicate generator. Then we want to go to vehicle. Vehicle would be type specific to make it a little bit more, uh, no, not type specific, entity type to be armor stand. Just to make it probably more efficient. Then we're going to look for the MBT of it. And we're going to look for the tags and we're going to look for lock. So an armor stand with the tag of lock. This is our thing. We will now copy that, go into here to predicates make a new file call this is not writing dot json and again this is detecting when you have the vehicle so let's just change this um to a uh inverted so inverted so now it's an inverted condition and so now we'll go into here and paste it boom 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 and now we'll do slash reload and do slash function lock colon lock writing. Now you can see that I'm actually inside a block. Um, if I ever escape it, I just immediately go back. Now let me type unlock writing and I'm back up. So one thing that I did notice is that I went inside the block and that's probably because I made it a marker. So let's just remove the negative one and we'll be good. So now when you get locked, you're stuck in place here. And then when I hit unlock writing, then I'm back just like that. So the next one is to lock is locking a player to a actual block. So it'll work very similar. Um, we'll keep this lock ID, but we'll change this to lock ID one. Uh, so we'll just have a different thing for that. And instead of summoning an armor stand, what we're going to do is summon a marker. So let's change this to marker, which is the most efficient entity in the game. We'll give it a tag of lock and a tag of new Change this to type equals marker. Then we will change lock ID to lock ID one, replace all. Okay, then we just need to do unlock marker. And then we will make another new MC function. Bam. So then unlock writing will have the same as unlock marker. But then again, we're just going to replace the lock with lock ID one and the type with marker. So you're going to basically still be linking an entity to the player, but the entity you're linking is a marker. Then now inside here, if you have a lock ID one, you do not detect a predicate. You go at the player, then unless entity at E type equals marker tag equals lock distance equals dot dot one then you go lock tp so if there is no lock marker near you then you're going to do a new file called tp.mc function and this will be similar to ride but instead of writing and instead of a armor stand you use a marker and you change lock id to lock id one and then you do tp at p to add s so all this stuff combined is pretty much the gist of it so now we do lock marker 
So now when we do lock marker, you can see that the lock ID score is set in the side. And you can see here that I'm only getting teleported back once I walk about a block away from this thing. Anyways, hopefully that helped you guys figure out how to keep players locked in place through various methods. You can lock them, you can unlock them, you can lock them so that they truly are stuck, but they have to sit, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, or you can lock them so that they're just teleported back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.